Hello all, welcome back. So in the previous video, we learned about data protection in iOS. In this video, we are going to look at an advanced level of data protection that Apple has given us. Yes, you heard it right, it's keychain. So what's a keychain? A keychain is an encrypted container where every application can store sensitive pieces of information and only the same application or authorized application can retrieve the contents. So what does it mean? So think of Keychain as a box, a sandbox, a box where only the authorized applications are able to view the file contents or sensitive contents such as usernames and passwords. Now let's say there's a, there's a container of an application, let's say test, and there's another application, let's say ABC. Now ABC wants to access the passwords of test. That is not going to happen. Why? Because Keychain is developed in such a way that only ABC is authorized to view the contents of ABC Sandbox, while application test is only authorized to view the contents of test Sandbox. Or else, the developer has explicitly tell ABC that you can view the contents of test. Only in that particular condition, ABC can retrieve data from test or else it's not going to retrieve any data from test application. The iOS generated its own password for the keychain and stores an encrypted version of this key and the device. So for keychain, an own generated password is created by iOS. How is this password created? This password is created using an AES key that is created by a pbktf2 function of the user's password plus salt. What is the salt? The salt is nothing but the device UID. And since the salt is device UID, it becomes impossible for another device's keychain to decrypt the password of this particular device's keychain. Because UID for each and every device is going to be different. And that's the reason keychain is called as one of the most encrypted password library that Apple has ever created. So that's keychain for you. Now keychain provides four different level of access control flags. Now let's have a look at these access control flags one by one. The first one is KSEC access control device password, which basically means that you can access any file contents or any file via a passcode. KSEC access control device biometry any, which basically means that access the item via one of the fingerprints registered to the touch ID. Adding or removing a fingerprint won't invalidate them. So this particular, uh, this particular thing basically you can see it in WhatsApp if you have used if you have an iOS device and you have used WhatsApp inside iOS device uh, WhatsApp is one of the best examples uh, and if you have biometric touch ID or face ID enabled okay when I say about biometry uh, it includes both the touch ID and the face ID so if you have biometric enabled in WhatsApp you can see that WhatsApp first asks you for your touch ID or your face ID and then and only then it's going to allow you for viewing the contents of WhatsApp. So for keychain, for access control, device biometry, any, it is similar to what WhatsApp has built the feature for. Okay. Then you have the third one, which is KSEC access control biometry current set. Access the item via one of the fingerprints registered to touch ID. And adding or removing a fingerprint will invalidate the item. So this thing basically means that if you add or remove a fingerprint, the item is going to be invalidated. And it's again going to ask that the fingerprint has been added or removed. Do you want to continue or do you want to change the settings? Okay, that's what KXS, uh, KSEC access control biometry current set uh, tells you about. And then finally, you have KSEC access control user presence. Access the item via either one of the registered fingerprints using touch ID or face ID or default to the passcode. So you can use anyone. You can either use the item to, you can either use the touch ID or face ID to view the item, or you can use that six digit passcode or your device unlock passcode to view that particular item. So I hope this particular video would have made you clear more about Keychain and how Keychain works and how Keychain encrypts itself. So that's it for this particular video. Thank you.